Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth module of our banking awareness course. Today we are going to discuss in this module the banking reforms made during liberalization. So let us begin. What was the primary objective of Sukhuma Chakravarti Committee formed in 1982? Time starts now. And the correct answer is to assess the functioning of the Indian monetary system. The Sukhuma Chakravarti Committee was formed in December of 1982 under the chairmanship of Professor Sukhuma Chakravarti to assess the functioning of the Indian monetary system. And it submitted its report in April 1985 and the idea was to improve monetary regulation in order to enable price stability which in order will um, give a push towards promoting the growth of the country and achieving other social objectives. In which year did the Vagul Committee submit its report? Time starts now. Correct answer is 1987. The Vagul Committee uh, was formed in 1986 and appointed by the Reserve Bank of India in that year. It was headed by N. Vagul as the chairman and uh, it submitted its report in 1987. N. Vagul was at that time the chairman of ICICI. The Vagul committee suggested that call money market should be purely an interbank market and therefore the restrictions of the entry into call market prevailing at that point of time should continue. What was the maximum limit of statutory liquidity ratio that was recommended by Narasimham committee? Time starts now. And the correct answer is 25%. The Narasimham committee had recommended bringing down the statutory preemptions such as the statutory liquidity ratio and the uh, CRR. It recommended that SLR should be reduced to 25% over the period of time and CRR should be reduced to 10% over the period of time and it should be reduced if possible below 10%. When was the Banking Ombudsman Scheme first introduced in India? And time starts now. The correct answer is 1995. Banking Ombudsman Scheme was launched with the objective to provide quicker solutions to customer complaints. It was first introduced in 1995, then again revised in 2002 and the current scheme that we have has been operative from 1st of January 2006. It's so a Banking Ombudsman is a quasi-judicial authority and the idea is to resolve customer problems with banks as soon as possible. When was the process of introducing computerization in all branches of banks begun? Time starts now. And the correct answer is 1993. And the first bank to have internet banking was ICICI and the First bank to introduce ATM in India was HSBC. When was ICICI bank founded? Time starts now. And the correct answer is 1994. So ICICI bank is a Indian multinational bank and financial services company. It was founded in 1994, established by the Industrial Credit and Investment Corporation of India and uh, the parent company itself was formed in 1955 as a joint venture of the World Bank, India's public sector banks and public sector insurance companies. As of 2018, ICICI happens to be the second largest bank in India in terms of asset and market capitalization while HDFC is the first. What is the full form of FEMA? Correct answer is Foreign Exchange Management Act. So the Foreign Exchange Management Act is in short known as FEMA and it was enacted in 1999 
and effectively repudiated the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act or FIRA of 1973. That is, FEMA replaced the FIRA Act of 1973 in 1999. FEMA enabled the development and maintenance of Indian foreign exchange markets and facilitated external trade and payments. Which of this is also called as Committee on Capital Account Convertibility? Time starts now. Correct answer is Tarapur Committee. Committee on Capital Account Convertibility, which is commonly known as Tarapur Committee, was a committee formed by the Reserve Bank of India to study the feasibility of capital account convertibility in India. It submitted its final report in 1997. What was the target set by Narasimham II Committee for the capital adequacy ratio of the banks by the year 2000? Time starts now. Correct answer is 9%. The Narasimham II committee suggested that the target should be raising the capital adequacy ratio to 9% by 2000 and 10% by 2002 and have penal provisions for banks that fail to meet these requirements. Which was the first Indian bank to provide internet banking facility in India? The picture gives it away actually and we have already discussed it as well. The correct answer is ICICI Bank and the first one to have ATM services was, we have discussed it, leave your answers in the comment. That's all for this quiz. If you like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also don't forget to leave your scores in the comments. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.